Good day, we will continue. Uh, verse 23. We, last time on Croatian Zoom Sangha, you were speaking so nicely, and uh, devotees want to hear more. So we will continue the words to the end. Now I will read the words. O beloved of the Prince of Vraja, when will this person, after washing your lotus feet, lovingly braid your hair with the beautiful fine garlands made by the florist girl Narmada. Gurudev, last time you explained so nicely this deep meaning of Narmada and devote this was very astonishing yeah. about this secret deep meanings yeah. <laughs> of their mother. Yes, I didn't hear it. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? Yes. He said to repeat. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no, I didn't hear. Yeah. So last time, Gurudev was uh, to repeat the words. No, Narmada. Ah, about Narmada. Okay, Suniti. Because Gurudev was explaining so beautifully the deep meaning from Parakya Mood ah. of the word Narmada. And the vote was so astonishing to hear this. And uh, now I have a second question, Gurudev, regarding these words. No, I first explain what I say. No, you have to explain, please. No, to say what you understand, I want to know that. Okay, okay, Gurudev, please check me. Oh, yeah. Yes, Gurudev said, he started his explanations uh, about Kumbha Mela. And I was surprised. Now what will he will speak about Kumbha Mela and Narmada. And he said that in Prayag, there is the three rivers which are flowing, Ganges, Yamuna, but there is also one subtle river, Savitri. But this subtle river is actually Radhika. Wow. Narvada. As I understood, Gurudev. So I was thinking all week about this. And I came to my small conclusion that actually the simplest also explanation is that if we understand Ataranga Shakti, then we can understand the Gurudev's words, how Radhika wants to serve Krishna in all her different expansions. So, Narvada is a hidden. So, our spiritual form is also meaning of hidden. So, we took the Radha shelter to be a hidden in the service in a mandirika. 
Yes. Then it's become Kumbha. It's a place of divine place, Nita. Because if you see Jamna and Ganga, Jamna is there also. <coughs> Form is a Krishna, but is a us gopis. Karna is also Krishna, one of the associates. Karna Maya, yeah, we say, because all the past time is happening of Radha Krishna, many is near to Jamna. And when Jamna and Ganga is meeting, then the Manjri Bhav, as in Narmada, when we took the center of Radha, she is also very hidden. A Ladani Shakti of you. Then we took the service, we took the mood of Evidently serving to Radha and Krishna. Yeah. To Radha. But in oh. the Radha Bhav, nature of Narvada means the Radha mood, when the any jiva takes, that becomes meeting of three, three rivers in one place. That it becomes Kumbha, is the auspicious moment of the hour taking bath in that river. Very auspicious. So, the taking bath means understanding that fact. Yes. Hmm. That day I say on behalf that is Radha is Narvada, but Radha following, who be follow the Radha Rani, this Manjari has become Narvada. Evenly always living with Jamna and Ganga. In the form of Radha. Wow. So beautiful. Elaborate answer. So we are bathing here also in the words of Acharyas. Yes. Yeah. Gurudev, I have one question. Because it came in my mind when I was thinking about these explanations. Because so many times in different verses, mm. we can yeah. see, and also in the purports, mm. uh, descriptions of trees, grass, birds, peacocks, the nature, shortly to say. Mm. Yeah, parrots, and so on and so on. And my question is, how they relate in Madhurya Rasa? How uh, is it? First, we have step by step. First, we have to relate to Sankaranya. Gurudev, I'm sorry, we didn't hear you. First, we have to relate Radha Rani to avoid it. Radha Rani, what is the problem? Yes, it, it's distortion. Yeah. Internet. Yeah. First, we have to become relation with Radhika. Yeah. That we have to practice our manjari service. 
then we have to arrange both of them meetings. When we relate after that, when we see the bird, they are the messenger of God. All are messengers of Divine Death. When the grass is coming, is a teaching to us the moment we will become like a grass, Trinadapu, when we will behave like a grass, sometimes death is coming. Death, I have to be death of Krishna. We cannot copy Radha Krishna Lila, but we have to death. One day Gaurachandra is reading, I don't remember what was the line. We can be a dust of Radha. Dust. What is what was the line? And the first line was we can we can not copy that what they do, but we can be take the dust and follow that mood of So it's when we go on and on that all the things are meaningful. Now you read and I will explain you what is the meaning of this birth, grass and tree. Go on. Uh, here there is no such kind of Oh great. Some one day not next day will come. No, I okay, good. Because in uh, Shishi Vilasa, Raj Vilasa Stava is many verses Don't about that. Bother. It will okay. come. All right, good. All the messengers, they will ask to come. I will show you. All right, good. Next Go time. On. Yes. Read, read. This time, not next time, will come. Go uh -huh. on. Okay. O beloved of the Prince of Raja. When will this person, after washing your lotus feet, lovingly braid your hair with the beautiful fine garlands made by the florist Narmada. What is Garnet? What is Garnet? Garnet is a flower. Flower cannot be one place. When you pour in one thread, it becomes Garnet. Yeah. So, flower is beautiful, but they are not in one round, one circle, one place, so it's not become beautiful. What is meaning of that? We are all the flowers, we, all living soul is a flower. <laughs> but we cannot come in one step to be create the beauty of divine suffering. What is the use of this flower? It comes and it falls down, but it is not become useful in his life because it is not going to the neck of Prada and Krishna. Hmm. It's not offered to the Radharani of my Krishna. Useless. Taking birth and dying is no meaning to of this flower. And you can see that. So many 
flower take birth and they die useless because they are not come in one set they are not twin with one one and one go right very much good so everything is a meaning clear <laughs> Yeah. Go on. I will explain you all the time. In Stop his spirit, power is a softness. Yeah. If we are very rough, we never give flavor to others. We have no good flavor. A stinky flavor. Flavor is roughness, and sweet flavor is your cup. Which flavor you want to leave? The stinky flavor is the toilet cup. You see, it's very rough. We not use nice behave to them. You wash your hands. Why? Because that is flavor. It's thinking in flavor, and no softness. Softness is there for using it. We no use for that. So comparison yourself without the flower softness and. Good flavor is useless. You cannot offer this to the divine. So what I am, I have to check myself. I have this quality to come in one set. I have a sweetness and humbleness in my life. <laughs> I'm trying to do. I behave like a pig and dog. Then sure, I will take that karma next time. <laughs> See, why does the karma come in our life? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Never-ending explanations. Yeah. Wow. In his spiritual identity, as Tulasi. You see, where is my Tulasi? She is the best in Tulsi. She is so much given to me. I'm proud of her, and so not Tulsi. She is already beautiful, but her pot is also very beautiful. But the selector pot is very beautiful. So we are the pot. You know, our body is a pot. And to see is the living life to change our life. When we identify to see, then we understand to see material to follow the truth. <laughs> I'm explaining everything to you. Why we pray to see? To see Krishna prayers. Who is the Krishna priyasi? To see, because priyasi is giving bhakti in our life. 
And who is Priyasi? My Swami is Priyasi of Krishna. And the Tulsi is the Dasi of my Swami. Tulsi Majan. Right? Everything is good. Every word is written by Andar Babaji, who is very deep man. Yes, but Gurudev, without your explanations, it's not only it's not, not enough me. only to read. <laughs> oh Magyana, yes. Yeah. In his spiritual identity as a Tulasi. You see? <laughs> yeah, Tulsi. <laughs> When I come in my spiritual identity and we practice the follow the Tulsi Manjari, Guru Manjari, then we realize what service I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> Sri Raghunatha takes Swamini into the dressing room and washes her lotus feet again before she starts drying Swamini's wet hair by squeezing it in a white cloth One thing I want to read again. In his spiritual identity as Tulasi, mm -hmm. Sri Raghunatha takes Swamini into the dressing room. You see, wash well, you see, you can feel yourself that you are there and you are also taking her to the Dressing room. Dressing room. This is the thing. You are there present and you are bringing a dressing room. Yes. And what you do, dry the feet. How you dry the feet? Read uh, the line. Yes, and washes her lot of sweet again. Again. Before she starts, mm -hmm. before yeah. she starts drying mm -hmm. Swamini's wet hair mm -hmm. by squeezing it. You see, by mm. drying hair, not by squeezing drying. Yeah. That you feel it, that is drying happens when the hair is squeezed. And you do that. Yeah. This is the way of meditation. This is bhajan. This is bhajan. How to excuse you, how you, when you're here, you want to dry, how you do. That way you do it. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Guru. Yeah. Squeezing it. In a white cloth. White cloth. Not <laughs> different cloth. White. Thick. White. So detailed, you see that? So big hair. And perfuming it. With fragrant aguru incense. Mm. 
Yeah. How expert she is in that service. Yeah. Understand? This is expertise. That is expertise to learn by doing with that. This is the loop Avid Upasana means staying close by. At the point. At close by you Sri Lanaratam does the course sings. I serve Radha and Krishna in life or in death. And I look at their playgrounds and their pastimes day and night. Wherever the adolescent couple performs their pastimes, I will be as companion of the Sakis. I will be there. Where is the Sangha? Where is the meeting place? I will become Narvada in a form of Manjur. Wow. This is Manjur you have. Then devotee can get this vision, I got it. When devotee is fully absorbed mm. in smarana, yeah. it is as if he directly serves divine couple. Yeah. Smarana means mental association. Yeah. Mental attitude. Where the mind is going, I am going to I associate myself with the mind. And upasana means to develop your mind in this practice service. So this is mental activity. Your mind as how it is acting, you their mind helps them for associating that. Now it goes some few examples of mental association and yeah. doing seva in smarana. A brahmana yeah. from Pratishtanapura burned his finger after sticking it <clears throat> in an offering of hot sweet rice. Kshira, which he had just cooked in his meditation. He burned his finger 
in meditation. Sri Raghunatha Das Goswami got physically diagnosed I digestion. I don't know to in pronounce digest. this word. Indigestion, yes. From overeating in his meditation. And Sri Krishna Das Babaji from Govardhan broke a bottle of oil in his meditation. And all of the people that lived at Manasiganga could actually smell it. <coughs> and the body and the clothes of Srila Madhusudana Das Babaji of Suryakunda were covered with the colored powders after he had mentally played a holy with Radha and Mohana. These examples show the miracles, transcendental power of devotion. Yeah. If the devotion is false, then what is real? <laughs> Baba is really... If devotion is false, then what is real? <laughs> devotion is a portion of the Lord's inner energy Swarup Shakti. Uh -huh. Just as devotees have spiritual discussions with each other, Ishta Goshti, similarly, the Sadaka should also awaken his desire to have Ishta Goshtis with the Sakis and Manjaris. Stay with them, sit with them, for the words of the great devotees have great power. The scriptures and the great saints say that when the devotee's devotion ripens, he can see his beloved deity in all the moving and non-moving creatures. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila, 8th chapter, it said, the pure devotees, Mahabhagavata, sees only Sri Krishna when he looks at the moving and non-moving entities. He sees the moving and non-moving beings, but he doesn't see their forms. Everywhere he perceives his beloved deity. In Srimad Bhagavatam 11, 2.45, it said, He who sees only His worshipable Lord in all living entities, and who sees all the living entities in His worshipable Lord, is the greatest devotee. Devotion makes the Lord perceivable through all the devotees' senses. 
This is the greatness of the ocean. Now Lila is continuing. <coughs> Shirada sits on a golden platform and Tulasi combs her curly monsoon clyde like hair with the golden comb making it look like a golden net the comb that is dragged through the blackish Yamuna water the hair sometimes contracting it by holding it in her left fist and sometimes allowing it to expand and to swallow her blooming lotus-like face where she opens her left fist and combs it again. <coughs> What a loving service. Each single strand of hair is dearer to Tulasi than millions of lives. These are, after all, no ordinary hair. The Acharyas define Srimati's hair as follows. And there is a verse in Govinda Lilamrita, which is saying, By always thinking of Krishna, the vine sprouts of Radha's thoughts and desires have become black and after they were sprinkled by the nectar of love for him they have come out as her thin long hair The maid servants experience this more vividly than anybody else. For their hearts are non different from Swamini's. The maid servants experience this more vividly than anybody else. because their hearts are non different from Swamini's. Outside of Prema's domain, there can be no acquaintance with Prema, Mai, Radha at all. <coughs> Tulasi has finished combing Radhika's hair and sits down on her knees behind her to braid it with loving expertise. She sits behind Swamini, but she strongly desires to see her beautiful face and that's why she calls her Goshtendra Sunu Daite O oh, beloved of the Prince of Raja This address is full of secrets How many emotions can be known through this address. 
स्वामी इस कृष्ण भावमय फूल ऑफ लव फॉर हिम एंड किंकर इज आर स्वामी इस भावमय फूल ऑफ लव फॉर अधिक श्रीमती लव श्री कृष्ण and the maid servants love shrimati tulasi madans swamini by awakening the remembrance in her of one of her sweet sports with moha the word goshtendra sunu daite can mean you are the beloved of the prince of raja or the prince of raja is your beloved this shows their mutual love tulasi says at the end of your past times in the kunja mohana is making your bread with his own hands and you also put his crown on or sometimes out of deep love you may reverse roles and mohana may think himself to be you and you think of yourself as him and then he, he will put his crown on your head and you will lovingly braid his hair well can i also once serve you so expertly and lovingly and as mohana does i am your poor unqualified maid servant be so merciful to give me that service that is my desire when swamini hears herself being called beloved of the prince of raja she is overwhelmed and thinks that is mohana who makes her bread instead of tulasi she keeps her eyes half closed while she relishes that thought and feeling like a bee falling into the nectar of a blue lotus flower blessed is tulasi blessed is her service with one address just one address she manages to crystallize the lila rasa and submerge swamini in relishing that savor the practicing devotee should try to remember these sweet pastimes every day when swarupa vesh remains maya has no chance to contaminate the devotees 
mind. All, all of Maya's disturbances are caused by bodily consciousness. Narmada, the florist's daughter, makes beautiful small garlands with the fragrant yuti and chameli flowers for tulasi to make a braid with. What a beautiful handcraft. Just as Tulasi stretches out her hand to do the work of spiritual, the spiritual vision disappears and she cries and laments out of disappointment. When can this fallen soul lovingly make your bread with the small garlands that were strung by Narmada. Sri Rasika Chandra Das sings. Again, I will carefully and expertly wash your lot to sweet with fragrant water and dry them off with my own hair before I sit you on a wonderful throne. Listen, oh listen, beloved of the Prince of Raja. After combing your hair, this maid servant will blissfully sit down to make it into a braid. Then Narmada quickly comes with a basket containing a garland made of different flowers. With love, I will take that garland and string it into wonderful braid with your hair. So this is the end of verse 23 with beautiful realization of Prasika Chandra who got the same vision like Raghunath because he was following his bhajan and the result of proper following and deep absorption, he got the same visions like a Raguna. Oh, beloved of the Prince of Raja, words, when will this person, after washing your lotus feet, lovingly braid your hair with the beautiful fine garlands made by the florist girl, Narmada. So if devotees wants to share something to support also the mood of Guru Dev and his bhajan. Please. Let short.
when I listen about this beautiful Leela, then sometimes I am very astonished that this is not philosophy at all. It's only about meditation. There's no knowledge required. And Raghunath Das Goswami and others and Anantada Sarvaji, they're painting a picture in our mind that we can connect with our heart and the feeling. It's not about philosophy and knowledge. And for that you have to become Rasikana when the mind has the tendency to require information and knowledge then very quick get bored. And then there was this you reading from Narottam Das Thakur. I'm serving Radha and Krishna in life or in death. And I thought that life and death meaning is I serve them in my Svaru and I serve them also in my Sada Kadim. Because if Raghunar coming out of his Svaru, going back to Saraka, for him it feels like that. He immediately want to go back to life and start trying again for the Sadaran. So I serve Radha and Mohan and life and that means I serve them in my Svarup and I serve them in my Sadakarina. Jai Guru Chandra. Thank you very much. So beautiful. Such Please, someone more. Such beautiful words, Sundara. It is uh, one of my favorite words, especially because this meditation to life, how they are so soft, fragrant, and that's uh, like you they said, they become really useful if they are strong and in a garland that is put around from his neck. And I remember always in my two days when I he has come to take all the flowers there to make a beautiful garland for him about Radha Mohan's neck. And uh, I like this meditation. We but first of all, I look in my heart and come off big and and also beautiful in that relation to Swami. And in my dealings with the devotee, I really improve. And then, of course, putting the flowers in Swami there in the break or like making garland. How I become inspired again to make more garlands. <laughs> Let us all become a beautiful garland in Gurudeva's servant. Let us have strong bondage in the love of our service that is more beautiful. <laughs> because we can serve each one of us with the flower. And we can Serve, but if we are together, then it will be the beauty of the, you know, togetherness. It will be more, it will be more. And then Guru Day actually putting this talent in harmony. All this for her, help us disciples and mantras to be. 
So that is the most inspiration also to help myself to connect to all of you and to see you beautiful flowers and see you flowers. <laughs> and uh, let's bring ourselves together in the circle of the Mater Radhika under the shelter of the Ramanthi. And uh, that is the story of things and very inspired. Thank you, Sinati. Thank you very much. Can you come closer to the mic microphone, please, Raguna? Because yeah. the the sound is spreading somehow very strange when we are far away from microphone. So now. Uh, first of all, I wanted to express my happiness that so many are participating in the Smarana because that was actually a tip from the today what we are reading Smarana. So wonderful to be in Smarana. Also, a wonderful situation in the sense of. When you say the smaranam, that refers actually to the life force, the life force of the mind is mind, right? So when we are together and and remember and remember these wonderful play times and also the deeper meaning, like the parakhyara, this it, it, it's more, it's even more capturing. So our mind stays very quiet on one point. Who from you is now disturbed or wants to go to another place or this is the power of Smaranam because we are connected through this. We are all right now connected. And this is not in the mind actually. This is when the mind is in connected with the heart and there's only one pointedness. There's only one circle, one center. And then you can make a lot of circles. There's never a cut. You have one center, and this is Radha Mohan. And of course, in, 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 uh, in the meditation about Guru. And Guru is the navigator who brings us to that ultimate goal. And that, that helping in this is Smaran. Because if we not, if we not, if we wouldn't remember the past time, the play times, we would maybe remember some other stupid things, whatever, from from our past experiences, so whatever, whatever you wanna wanna put in. There's always smaranam, but we have to we have to want. That's the point. That there is a wanting, a real intense wanting, like like Sila Siramat says. The intense desire to listen about about uh, the play times of Radha Mohan, that is the quintessence of everything. And that is where we are protected, my dear friends. This is where we are protected. This is where we are together. Because we can we can be together, it's it's like in that in that ages of technology. I'm looking at the screen now, I see so many uh, different faces. It's really something surprising, right? But I can feel the heart, the heart of everybody. And the one daddy wants to be there, participating in that smarana, participating in always, always remembering these play times of Radha Mohan. And the wonderful and going deeper also is is, is a point in Smaram to going deeper and deeper and deeper. And this is our what I feel our real connection. And this is what is that garland, that garland, which which is strung by 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 Shravanam Kirtanam Smaranam, the hearing, the chanting, and that. From all the devotees, from all the flowers, so beautiful garland, 
which is after offered to Radha Mohan. That's a garland. I say, oh, I, I expand it a little bit more. Kirtan. Like when we are, when we are talking, actually when we are talking, we are also listening, right? So Shravanam, listening. And this is all the, the power, if you only say Radha wants, totally conscious in that moment, and it comes out of your heart and out of love, you really want it. I don't want anything else, just her. If that happens once in our lives, then the same moment is connection there. She's present, 100%. 100% she's present and 100% 100, 100 she's like this. Come all, come, please, come. I'm waiting for you. Don't, don't do any more stupid things in this world, in this other world, wherever you are. In this. I look at the and I think, wow. <laughs> that's me? No, that's not me. Are you seeing me right now? Do you see me externally? No, you don't see me. There's another, another spirit behind it. It's nothing external. Guru Dev, uh, Guru, Guru Dev, Guru Siddha Maharaj, he said, you are form breaker. That means, form breaker means the external thing is not important. Important is the yes, essence. And the quintessence, what is said in this context is, that is to remember the playtimes of Radha Mohan. And this is what we, what we do in that beautiful association. I don't want to extend any longer. I maybe would I want you to say something? Some of you want to say something? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Raghunath. And also, please, please, please come. Yes, with mercy of you. all of you. When we were sitting, you remember when we did the preparing up there? Together we thought the committee was there. <laughs> Thank you for your sweet memories. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. That that. So, like Suniti said, and you. This verse is so full of beautiful descriptions of details. That actually is the source of unlimited smarana for days and days and weeks and weeks. We don't have to go further just to stay in descriptions of this. And being association of these beautiful persons, mental association. So, if I can say something, when I hear this word hair, it's so deep meanings are which can my mind can catch and heart. This hair actually, it's written in Govinda Lilamrita, is the result of thoughts and desires of Radhika. And it's astonishing actually. Why her hair is so curly, sometimes wild, that all her emotions are coloring her hair, giving her a rhythm, always different. And it's not easy always to comb her hair. It needs great expertise, actually. Because you, Majari has to comb her emotions which are coming in the waves, in the waves, in the waves. 
always new. And also this hair actually is a like a paraphernalia for worshipping. If you remember, with the hair manjaris are cleaning the bathroom. With the hair manjaris are drying the feet of the Radhika. With the hair they are doing a puja, like a chamara to Radhika. And what they are doing with the hair, they are offering their deep, intense emotions to Radhika. Like uh, in some words he said, I don't remember where, Prema Pujarini. So this is the way how puja has to be done. and expressions of the feelings, loyalty, is the best way. How we Manjaris are expressing it with their hair. In one word, Raghunath say, I don't want to dry your feet with the towels. I don't want to dry your feet with my hands. They are rough. But I have to do it. So I choose my hair. Because it's so soft. And why is soft? Because the emotions for Radhika are soft. And this is the reflection of soft loving emotions in the heart of Manjari. So it is mine. I'm sorry that I took your time. Oh, please. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. This, is, this hair is completely intoxicated me. I'm sorry, rather <laughs> And also that the manjaris are the personification of the feeling of Radha. Yeah. So personification of Radha, personification of different feelings from Radha, they can run through. It's also very nice. That's the Tulasila mantra. It's representing a feeling, an emotion that Radharani. Yes, yeah, sure. You want to, Sitika? Anybody else wants to share? We would like to listen more. Please, please, devotees. Be bold, be strong, <laughs> express your feelings. <laughs> this is your duty. <laughs> this is Don't your shame. Yeah. No shame, no. Rade, Rade, Gauranga, Gauranga, еще кинкари делают массаж, массаж радки тебе, yeah. волосами, yeah, yeah. Sorry, no translation. Radha, I will translate. Uh, his uh, Radha Govinda says oh, that also King. Acha. Radha Radha. Да, King я хотел добавить, что когда Гауранга рассказывал о том о том о том служении, которое делают Кинкари волосами, да, я недавно читал стих, 
где Тулоси, да, это вела по Кусуманжели, я тоже читаю. Она делала массаж, она боялась вот тоже гру, грубыми руками прикоснуться к стопам, да, и она понимала, что только волосами она сможет так нежно, чтобы не нарушить идею любви Радхи Гавинды, которые лежали на постели. Рады, рады. Рада. I was reading Vilapa recently and uh, Kinkari was massaging the feet of Srimati and uh, she understood Kinkari that my hands are too um, not soft enough so she took her hair and started to massage Srimati's feet with her hair and uh, so that she not to disturb the idea of Radha and Krishna being together. Да, mm. Гауранга. Yes. I have to say something. <laughs> okay. Each time is different. Ну, я тогда, да, я вспомнил, добавил. Это не вопрос. I just wanted to add. It's not a question. Just wanted to add this. Oh, thank you very much. You relieved me. Yes. Yes. It's different moment of expression of emotions. And sometimes Radik Tulasi is massaging the feet with her soft fingers. But sometimes she's, she thinks, oh no, it's too rough. I have to do it with my hair. Because I don't know in other traditions, but in Croatia, in here, in tradition, we know that daughters were washing the feet of the fathers with their hairs. I don't know really what's going on in other traditions, but in previous times it was very common. Also, the wives, they were washing the feet with the hair. It is materialistic example, but it shows that they want to give all her, their hearts to their beloved. It's a custom. But we can see also here how much hair is importing, imported, very important for expression the emotions. And we can see the example of Maria Magdalena also. I learned it from Gurudev, actually. I don't know anything about Christianity. <laughs> and Gurudev explained how what she were doing with her open hair. She was drying, she was washing, she was massaging, I don't know, the hair of Jesus. This is very, very, very most intimate feet of Jesus, sorry. Because it's already said in Govinda Lilamrita, what's going on in Radhika's heart? It's so strong, vine sprouts of thoughts and desires. They have become black, and after they were sprinkled by the nectar of love for Krishna, they have come out as her thin, long hair. Her emotions are every thread of this 
beautiful black hair of Radek. Can Gurudev say something? <laughs> All right. This is emotion. <laughs> Microphone. No thank you. You allow. Pull up the motion. Out of control. With the highest emotion, when we use the air, it's showing the highest man. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Very the softest thing and very often. It shows very softness from the heart and the great feeling. Yes. When we use our hair in the service. Oh, Go on. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> See that. Verse, verse 18, Gurudev, mm. is supporting what you are saying. Yeah. Oh, my goddess, oh, my Devi, mm. when mm. may I, after joyfully rising your drain, with sweetly scented water and lovingly sweeping it with my loosened hair. Yeah. Considering it very dear, daily make your latrine fragrant with the nice instances. Yeah. I want to sweep your latrine, such a menial service with my loosened hair. Yeah. My love. Nobody will see that I'm cleaning that. Wow. I don't want to show this. But I have to feel myself with the service. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. So we can stop here. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank I'm you there. very, very much, good. Uh, very good to see. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm.